and worried, but it was a lot of fun. So. And then after carrying the famous torch of life, and you know it was blessed by the Pope John Paul II, and that it's been carried in memory of many people that gave their life to, to organ and tissue donations. How did it feel like actually carrying the torch? Um, again, it was, a, it was a big honor. I didn't carry it that much because I'm not that strong, but uh, it, was, it was good. It, was, it, was, it felt good. So there's hundreds of students across the country that are waiting to carry this torch. Uh, right across the country, over 126 uh, communities. Do you have anything that you want to say to them now that you've carried the torch and have done this for Cornerbrook? Uh, keep training hard. It's a lot of work. And um, it was a great experience. And anyone who gets to do it is really lucky. And how do you feel about SOS 4000, the uh, team that put this together? I think it's a great cause. And you guys all really did a really good job with it. And will you continue being Corner Brooks Torch Champion for the I rest of the year? I certainly will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Three of our Corner Brook High Titans, Sasha Fisher, Alex Ruda, and Tansy Summers Lumbar, uh, Lubar, <laughs> have just completed a 10K run from Marble Bend to the school. And I'd like to bring them up here now, so they're going to have a few words. Um, I'd also ask to like Mr. Pender if you would come up for a second. Mayor Pender. As well as George Martellus, the organizer of the step-by-step -step course relay. And Mr. Christopher Knowles, if you would come up with the torchbearers, sir. Christopher ran the race with the uh, students from Cornerbrook Five, and this is his second time running into Cornerbrook, as in... In 2004, Christopher ran across Canada uh, to raise awareness for organ transplant donation. And before I pass the mic over, I just want to let people know that I have been an organ donator, donator since I have had my driver's license, and that's how you do it, guys. When you get your license, you let them know. Okay. So I'll pass that on to Mr. Martellos. Huh? Thank you. Uh, we know you got to get back to class soon, and you want to go back to class, right? Uh, okay, this is very important what's going on here today. Uh, there's over 4,000 Canadians as we speak that are in hospitals right across Canada that are desperately waiting for organ transplants. If they don't receive these organs, they're going to die. It's as simple as that. What happened today was an awareness and attention to these people. What we're trying to do in Cornerbrook is inspire everybody to become organ donors and that's why Tansy, Alexandra and Sasha did their run today to bring attention. Does everybody understand that? Yeah. Okay, good. So, how many people are going to become organ donors here? Come on, let's hear it. Alrighty. I'm going to turn the mic over to the 14-year-old uh, boy at the time that actually walked across Canada himself and he is in need of a liver transplant and his name is Christopher Knowles. Thank you. Uh, my name is Christopher Knowles. Uh, about three years ago I did a walk across Canada to raise awareness for organ and tissue donation. The torch that I carried, or that the girls carried, I carried on my walk. I believe that it helps save lives. I believe that because it helps save my life. I've been waiting for a liver transplant my whole life, and I'm currently on hold for a liver transplant as we speak. Today I am honored to uh, pass the torch of life to your three representatives in your community, Alexandra, Tansy, and Sasha. <laughs> Uh, all I'd like to say is just uh, please don't take your organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them here. Thank you. Thank you and uh, welcome to Cornerbrook. 
on behalf of the city of Corbrook as mayor, I get to double time here as mayor and teacher. I uh, certainly want to thank you for choosing to come to Corbrook and I uh, want to thank our three runners uh, to, uh, to, for helping you out this morning. It's a, a very important uh, issue that you're dealing with here. And uh, as everyone knows, if you have a driver's license, and there's many people in the school that have a driver's license, the first thing everyone wants, wants to do is go up and get their driver's test and get out and get their license. And when you get your license, you just simply tick off the box that you want to be an organ donor. And more importantly, you have to speak about it with your family as well so that they're aware that if you want to be an organ donor, and you should all be an organ donor, that everyone is aware of it. And the best way to do that is when you get your license, make the decision and do it there. So on behalf of the City of Cornwall, the Council, I want to welcome you here. Thank you for coming. And of course, they're raising awareness with us here today. Thank you, Mayor Pender. Okay, now I'm going to very quickly ask our three girls to speak before we send you guys off to class. And you are going off to class. Ladies. Hi guys. Um, we just want to say that we're really honored that we were chosen to participate in SOS 4000. It's to support such a worthwhile cause. Most people do not realize that there's 4,000 Canadians waiting for an organ right now. Many of them will not live to receive their organ donations. A lot of Canadians, we feel it is important to spread this awareness so that lives can be saved. As one donor can save up to eight lives and improve the quality of over 30 others, there is no, there's no age limit to becoming an organ donor and um, all major religions support organ donations. So to become an organ donor in Newfoundland, all you have to do is just indicate it on your driver's permit or your license that you wish to become an organ donor. It's equally important to discuss it with your family because some doctors will not proceed with the transplant without consent of the family. We would like to encourage our fellow students, teachers, and community members to consider becoming organ donors. This simple act of kindness can potentially save many lives. Meeting amazing people such as Christopher Knowles and George Marcello has strengthened our belief in the cause. Even though they have experienced hardships, they continue to raise awareness and help those who are in similar situations. Organ donation is the key to saving lives, and we are committed to raising awareness for this cause. Thank you. Hey, thank you guys. Now you can proceed back to your respective classrooms. Thank you.